Hi, my name is Ming Fong. I'm 17 years old and I'm addicted to calculus. I can't go a day without it. I crave it. I need it. I wake up, go to my desk, and do calculus. If I go out somewhere, I'll put in some extra problems in my bag. And when I'm going to the store, I start calculating everything around me. I do it every night before I go to bed. It consumes my life. One year ago, Ming developed a deadly addiction to calculus. Since then, he's gone from taking basic limits to integrating every space he sees. It just feels good to do. I feel like a smarter, better person. It tingles my brain, and I just feel so satisfied. Even though it hurts me, it makes my brain feel good. When I first found out Ming was addicted to calculus, I thought it would be good for him. But this has gone too far. Today, his family has decided it's time to intervene before it's too late. Here, we want him to get help now, like right now. There's no tomorrow, he needs to do it now. <laughs> Ming, I just want you to sit down. So we brought you here today because we want to talk about your calculus issue you've been having. We want you to get help. Okay. Because we love you, Ming. Yeah, I know, I know. Can I just ask you one question? What? I just want to know why. Why are you doing this? How does it make you feel? It just feels so good. And I know it hurts the people around me, but I can't stop doing it. I'm addicted. Don't you see what it's doing to you? To us? You're not sleeping, me. No, I don't want to know what I'm doing. I just don't think about it. Well, you know what? You need to know. You can't just go without sleeping to do calculus. It messes up your brain. And everyone here is worried for you. And the worst part is, if you don't stop, you're gonna die. You're gonna end up dead. Do you want that, Ming? No, of course not. This is too extreme. I've had enough of you damaging your body. Don't you understand that with you doing something like this, something that's harming yourself, I can't help but start to think it's my fault. The way you keep doing this to yourself, it's killing me inside! I can't even describe how much we love you, Ming. And I, I, I don't know. Seeing what happened at Rachel's birthday last week, I... Hey! Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Walk it. Walk it like I talk it. Woo! Walk it like I talk it. Talk it. Walk it like I talk it. Hey. We are given the speeds of the bus and my speed, which is 2 meters per second to the north, and the bus is moving 11 meters per second eastward. And so we know that A, which is me, starts moving at t equals 0, and B, the bus, starts moving at t equals 5, which is 5 seconds after I start moving. We can create a triangle with our positions, and the length of side A can be found by taking my speed 2 times the time that I've moved, which is 10 seconds, and that gives us 20 meters. The length of side B can be found by taking the speed of the bus, 11 times 5, which is 55 meters. Using A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we can plug in A, 20 meters squared, plus B, 55 meters squared, equals C squared. And solving for C, we get C equals 58.523 meters, and that's the length of side C. So now we take the derivative of A squared plus B squared equals C squared with, with respect to time, and we get 2dA over dt times A plus 2db over dt times b is equal to 2dc over dt times c. Now we can plug in, actually we can first divide by 2 on both sides, and then we can plug in da over dt and a, and we can plug in db over dt and b, and we can also plug in the value for C, which is 58.523. And so we just have to solve for DC over DT. 
and doing that gives us DC over DT equals 11.021 meters per second. And that's our answer. Came through drippin', drip, drip. Came through drippin', drip, drip. Came through drippin', drip, drip. Diamonds on my wrist, they drippin'. Ice. Came through drippin', drip, drip. Came through drippin', drip, drip. Came through drippin', drip, drip. Diamonds on my wrist, they drippin'. Ice. Came through drippin'. God, happy birthday, Rachel! Thank you! Have you seen me? Me? Uh... Where's... Ray, it's melting! You're doing it again! We are given a cone with a radius of 4 and a height of 15. We know that the radius is 4 15th of the height and this is true throughout the whole cone. So if the height is 10, we can substitute this in to the volume equation. We get volume is 1 3rd pi the quantity 4 15th h squared times h which is equal to 16 pi over 675 times h cubed. Taking the derivative of the volume, we get dv over dt is equal to 16 pi over 675 times 3h squared times dh over dt. We're trying to solve for dh over dt. So we need to plug in the change in volume, which is given as 8 centimeters cubed per minute. So 8 is equal to 16 pi over 675 times 3h squared but we can substitute in the h. So that's 3 times 10 squared, which is 100, times dh over dt. And solving for dh over dt gives us dh over dt equals 0 0.358 centimeters per minute. The volume of the ice is depleting at 0 0.358 centimeters per minute. Yeah, it do not matter. Ming, look, there's a balloon. I want it for my birthday. Go get it for me. Obviously, Ming is too busy right now. So. Oh my god, there's no air in it. Let me go blow it up. We are given a radius 3 sphere, and we know that the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we are also given that dv over dt is 6 centimeters cubed per second. So, deriving the volume, we get 4 pi over 3 times 3r squared times dr over dt is equal to the change in volume over change in time. And so we can plug in the change in volume over change in time, which is 6, which is equal to 4 pi over 3 times 3 times 3 squared, which is 3 cubed, times dr over dt. Now we can solve for dr over dt, which gives us dr over dt is equal to 0 0.053 and that's going to be in centimeters per second yeah that's what happened at rachel's birthday party do you guys have anything else to say to him a letter for you dear me i know my calculus has consumed your life but I know that's not your future, okay? I know that you will get better. I know that you can get better. And I will be there to support you in every step of the way, so please. Okay, I'll get help. Hi, Ming. Good morning, doctor. May I ask, how much calculus have you been doing every day? Well, I've been doing about 
three to four hundred integrals per day. Do you ever stop? I only take about ten minutes to shower and eat, but the rest of the day is just doing calculus. You know that's not good. Yeah. You're losing precious hours of sleep. I know, doctor. I was extremely shocked about how much calculus he was doing. It was highly toxic and highly deadly. It's scary to see someone like this. His next problem could be his last. You have a few alterations in your brain. They're usually caused by highly toxic substances. <sighs> wow, I really should stop, huh? Yes, you really need to. Would you like to accept the treatment that I can offer you today? Yeah, I need to get better. Not only for my family and my friends, but for me, myself too.